Okay, here we have a universal set U, which contains the elements U, V, W, X, Y, Z, 1, 2, and 3. We have subsets E, F, and G. E equals 2, or contains the elements 2, Y, W, and Z. F contains the elements 2, 3, U, Y, and Z. G contains the elements 1, 2, 3, W, and Y. Find, we're trying to find E union F intersect G complement. Okay. This is a pretty simple problem, but um, when you get a lot of different sets with a lot of different elements in those sets, it can get pretty confusing, especially when you've got something like this where you've got an E union F intersecting um, the complement of another set. And these problems are easy as long as you understand the language used in these problems and what um, all these symbols represent. So if you know that a union can be identified as the word or, or I like to think of it as E plus F, you can think of it as an E plus F or E or F, but you can't think of it as E and F, even though that seems like it would make sense because the reason you cannot is because an intersection represents the word and. So like if it was, let's say, E and G, it would be all the elements um, that are in E and also in G. So don't get those confused and basically identify each part of the problem individually with those elements, especially when you're first starting out. And then that way you won't get confused and, and get elements mixed up and, and have elements in the wrong set in your, in your answer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you an example of that. And we're, so we're going to start with the E union F and first we're just going to identify what is an E and or not and, like I just said, you don't even say the word and when you're talking about unions, E plus F. So E union F is going to equal, okay, what's an E? 2Y, W, and Z, and what's an F? 2, 3, U, Y, and Z. I'm gonna start with the numbers, okay? So they both contain two, and F contains three, so we're gonna add that one as well. And then we'll go with the letters, and E contains Y, W, and Z, and F contains U, Y, and Z. So we'll put U, Y, W, and Z. So now we have E union and F, which contains all of the elements in E and all of the elements in F without repeating any of the elements. Okay. Now we can move on to the next part of the problem now that we've identified what's in the parentheses, which is obviously where you're always going to start. We want to find E union F intersect G complement. Well, let's first let's identify what what G complement consists of. Okay, so we'll have G complement is everything not in G, and everything not in G is basically everything in the same everything in the universal setup here that is not in G. So basically, we can go through and see. We'll use this universal set. We'll say one, two, and three is in G. Well, let's mark those out then. Let's actually, let's use red for that. We'll, we'll mark those out. And, and you might want to just write a whole u new universal set out to do this when you start marking these out so you don't lose your original universal set. But in this case, I don't need to do that. So and then W and Y are also in G, so let's get rid of W and Y. Let's just mark those out. Okay. So then that leaves us with U, V, X, and Z. So that's G complement. That's everything that's not in G but is in the universal set. So down here, we'll go ahead and write, we'll write what's in G complement, which we just figured out is U, V, X, and Z. Okay. So we want to enter, we want to find the intersection of E union F and G complement. So now over here, now that we've identified G complement, let's just write that in. U, V, X, and Z, that is G complement. Okay, so now an intersection, as I just explained earlier, is everything in one set and also in another. So what common elements do these two sets share? Remember this represents G complement. Uh, oops, didn't mean to mark the Z anyway. So let's just go through and underline all, or actually we'll just circle all the elements that have in common. Well, they have a U in common, no V, no X, and they do have a Z in common. 
That's supposed to be a Z. So, obviously, um, these are the elements that we want. Uh, we're not going to repeat them, but these, these are the elements we want in E union F intersect G complement. So, that's going to be our answer. Just U and Z, and that's it.